Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up? Creepers and Geekers Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? Guys, today I have the pleasure of showing off this amazing, amazing tabletop VFD game. Tandy, Tandy, of course, being the company that owns Radio Shack. I believe that's how it works, right? It was the Tandy Corporation doing business as Radio Shack. Oh, let me know down below. I just know Tandy and Radio Shack are the same entity. Or should I say, were. <laughs> At one time, I miss Radio Shack. But you know what? Radio Shack turned into a cell phone business. I remember going in there and asking for a field effect transistor. And the kid looked at me like, how did we have parts over there? Just dick. I'm like, oh god damn it. But either way, uh, this was donated to me. It was it was gifted to me from our good friend Ryan at Cryptic Line Works. I know him better from Deep Space Toys. Uh, but he is an amazing artist. He is responsible for my buttons and stickers. And he was gonna work on a card back for one of my action figures before I decided to bail out on it. Uh, really nice guy. He picked this up for like three dollars and twenty cents, something to that tune. And um <clears throat> He was nice enough to say, fuck it, I think it should be in the creep's hands as long as you do a review. And how the hell was I not going to do a review of this thing? I absolutely love the aesthetic of this thing. I mean, just that, that grid line setup. It reminds me of the uh, the Master System. Also, if you remember correctly, Camaros, it was either Camaros or the Trans Ams, had this pattern on the dash and all the plastic trim on the, on the interior of the vehicle. It just screams around that time period, early to mid-80s. Absolutely love it. Coming down here, you have your control panel. You have your on and off switch. You have your sound on and off, which is actually, it's a really great feature. Because I, I, even as an adult playing this, I know my lady fucking hates it when I play some of my VFD games. And she's trying to watch her programs or something. But either way, it's still a great, a great option. I remember uh, Willie of Arcade USA was talking about his Pac-Man uh, VFD game he had, the Coleco one. His dad actually took it from him. And wired in a volume a volume button or a switch or something like that so you can turn the volume off so it didn't drive them nuts but in all fairness that tabletop game was obnoxious uh, over here you have your amateur and pro level switch uh, right here you have for players one and two and you have your joystick now when you turn the game on you press forward to start the game and you press down to select uh, which game variant you want from zero one two or three I'm not too familiar with what that is. I kind of figured it was just a one or two player, hard or easy. We'll have to learn all that together. Just a quick look at the bottom. We got ourselves a nifty little chrome sticker here. It has all the information on how to operate the machine, aside from how to actually play it. Got your Radio Shack catalog number. I don't know what it was about the Radio Shack ones. They always seem to be utilized. I know other products had catalog numbers. But Radio Shack always just seemed to have a really good system make things so much easier and here we have a little graph on what the items are in case you can't figure it out open it up this bad boy takes four c batteries and though i've yet to ever see one of these come with it there was a six volt barrel jack that you could purchase dc to power this bad boy i'll just have to try to find my universal one which i still can't find now it says two player Tandy wasn't satisfied with making something that you can just pass between you and your friend. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, to be honest, there's really not too much of a difference between side one and side two. Aside from player one gets all of the controls in the front. Um, this game only utilizes a joystick. Anyhow, there are no buttons to be depressed. Um, but if you're player two and if you come over, you most certainly will be. That's what you have to look at. So firing this thing up, you are greeted with this really, in my case, very vibrant, bright, I love VFD. Uh, VFD just looks so great. Um, screen here, you got bases on the top and the bottom. You got an alien craft in the middle. Those red things moving around, those are asteroids. But what's really cool about this unit is both of you are looking at the exact same thing if you're playing two player. Now let me turn on the sound so you can hear what's going on with this bad boy. Sounds just like the Predator. <laughs> if he never stopped making noise. Um, so like I said, you press down to select which game you want. We're just going to leave it where it's at, default. 
and press forward to start the game. Now listen to this jingle and you tell me down in the comments below, what does this remind you of? I know what it reminds me of. All right, so I'm the guy in the bottom. And what you're trying to do is get to the ship in the middle and steal an alien. Now see the guy here, he already got one. So I gotta get up there real quick and get him. And bring him down here. Oh, I didn't get him. I gotta go steal him. There we go, I got him. Oh, uh, come on, come on. There we go, that was the first alien I've ever gotten. Shoot. Collect the alien, get the alien. Did I get him? No. Down. And there you go, that's all there is to it. The little red alien that comes out of the ship, you gotta collect him before the guy above you does. And get him to your base. Now, I have to open it up because the controls are, controls are a little goofy, uh, which is which is to be expected on these older games. They're, they're metal bladder contacts, and sometimes they just need to be resprung or cleaned in a lot of cases. Um, but that's the least of my worries. That's an easy fix. Uh, this the, the, the display is very vibrant uh, Very colorful and it just looks great. The, the, the unit all around is in a fantastic shape And I could not be any more pleased and if the controls are the last of the least of the problem That's the easiest fix of them all. So guys, what did you think about the Tandy alien chase VFD? tabletop game. I know there's a Tomy version of it for the overseas market. It's the exact same thing from my understanding, but really fun game. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just enjoying these VFD games. I don't know why I didn't start collecting them sooner. And I'm starting to get a really nice collection and I absolutely love these things. So guys, go ahead and leave your feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all feedback to the creep is positive. And if there's a VFD or any of these style of tabletop or handheld games that you think I would enjoy. Let me know down in the comments below. Leave your suggestions as always. Guys, I hope you have a great weekend. We finally made it, and guess what? Four hours from now, I'm gonna be on vacation! All week, I'm off next week. And that is going to be amazing. So guys, I hope you had a great week. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Thank you always so much for watching. Until next time, take care, creep it real, and bye bye